Now there is a patient with ulcerative colitis that is admitted in our ward and we are getting the x-ray abdomen done. The patient is admitted with sepsis, the patient is ad admitted with complaints of bleeding per rectum, abdominal distension and features of intestinal obstruction or abdominal distension. Okay. Now in x-ray, the x-ray picture is something like this if we can see here, identify the diagnosis. So the diagnosis here is toxic megacolon and which you can see here that there is a hostel colon here there is no hostel so this is a chronic ulcerative colitis patient with a dilated transverse colon and dilatation of whole of the colon is there there is presence of air fluid level also and this transverse colon should be more than 6 cm okay so now what we are going to do we are going to manage this patient initially with IV fluids and along with that we are going to give antibiotics to prevent sepsis and we have to perform surgery in surgery we will remove this toxic colon as it will become gangrenous later on and can lead to death of a patient and sepsis so we will have to remove or we have to perform total abdominal colectomy with end ileostomy and we will preserve the rectum and the uh, uh, what you can say then proctectomy and ileal pouch in an anastomosis we are not going to perform in this setting we will perform in the next setting once the sepsis resolves okay so this is about toxic megacolon now we are going to discuss toxic megacolon in detail okay so now we are going to discuss toxic megacolon this image is very important and it is frequently asked Now, it is a serious condition and a life threatening condition. Seen most commonly in ulcerative colitis, but it can also be seen in Crohn's colitis, pseudomembranous colitis, infectious colitis. Okay, can also be seen in. Crohn's colitis, infectious colitis, or a pseudomembranous colitis. Okay, now how we are going to diagnose? We are going to diagnose the disease with a X ray abdomen. What we are going to see in the X-ray abdomen, the picture I have already shown you. We are going to see a dilated transverse colon. With a diameter more than 6 cm. Along with that, we are also going to see a hostel colon. Or a lead pipe colon. Or a pipe stem colon. Along with that, we are going to see multiple air fluid levels and in case if we are getting a CT done, CECT abdomen, then we can also see ischemic colon, okay. ischemia or nematosis can be seen. So the ischemia or nematosis can be seen on CT or it can be seen on X-ray also, okay. And there is massive dilatation or a necrotic thin walled colon, okay. Now, now we have diagnosed how we are going to manage. Management, I have already told you, initially we will have to perform, uh, I will initially we will have to manage the patient conservatively and we are going to give IV fluids, antibiotics and then we will have to take up the patient for surgery because the medical management is associated with increased recurrence, okay. And uh, what is the diameter of transverse colon? It should be more than 6 cm and what should be the diameter of cecum? What should be the diameter of ascending colon, transverse colon, 
rectosigmoid or descending colon. These other diameters are also being asked. The cecum should be more than 12 centimeter, ascending colon should be more than 8 centimeter, transverse colon more than 6 centimeter, and the rectosigmoid or descending colon should be more than 6.5 centimeter in toxic megacolon. Okay. This is very important to remember. Now, the management. Medical management is associated with high recurrence. We should initially, before surgery, we should stabilize the patient. Stabilize with IV fluids and IV antibiotics and we will have to take up the patient for surgery. Surgery, we are going to perform total abdominal colectomy with Hartman closure with endileostomy. A total proctocolectomy with, uh, with ileal pouch anal anastomosis is generally not performed in toxic megacolon or a single stage is not performed. Once the patient improves after total abdominal colectomy, then in the second stage we have to perform this ileal pouch anal anastomosis. Okay. This total abdominal colectomy is sometimes also referred to as subtotal colectomy as we are not removing the rectum. Okay. So this is all about toxic megacolon.